so today in this video we are going to talk about the ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency so we all know that what ornithine transcarbamylase does so uh, before starting this topic i want you to read about the urea cycle so that it will be clear for you to understand this disease ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency so in the urea cycle what we learn that the combination of the carbon dioxide and ammonia will give to carbamyl phosphate and carbamyl phosphate uh, with the help of uh, ornithine and the enzyme ornithine transcarbamylase it is converted into citrulline and that citrulline from this uh, conversion to citrulline the urea cycle commences and ultimately the ammonia is converted into urea and the urea is transported to kidney and it is excre excreted throughout the kidney so what happens when there is ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency so ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency is the most common urea cycle disorder and it is x linked recessive so uh, ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency is x linked recessive we have to know that other enzyme deficiency in the urea cycle is autosomal recessive so what happens there will be the increase ammonia in the body and the excessive carbamyl phosphate is converted into the uretic acid so if there is no ornithine transcarbamylase then there will be the no conversion of carbamyl phosphate what will be the findings the various findings of the ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency disease is increased uretic acid in blood and urine and the blood urea nitrogen will decrease and there will be all the symptoms of the hyperammonemia so in the previous video i have discussed the symptom of the hyperammonemia so all the symptoms of the hyperammonemia will be present you have to know that it is very different from the uretic acid urea so in the uretic acid urea we also see the megaloblastic anemia whereas in the ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency we do not see the megaloblastic anemia in the blood so this concludes our uh, topic on the ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency we briefly discuss about the introduction and the various findings in the ornithine trans ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency and we also discuss the Mm, differences of the ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency with oritic aciduria thank you